Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General Civil War. This is our Union Campaign episode number 8. The mission is Secure River. And we are bringing 12 brigades into this mission, so I haven't fully reconfigured my force since the Battle of Shiloh, but I've done a lot to it. And I have a plan moving forward to the Battle of Gaines Mill where I can take 30 brigades. And I plan to take 30 brigades. And I currently have 30. Um, so it would be two and a half core that I bring into that battle. So as you can see here, here is first core. And you'll see that I have 10 brigades in divisions uh, 1 and 2. And then 2 brigades in division 3. These are the three divisions I want to take into the Secure River mission, as these are the troops I want to work on. So 4th Division hopefully will not participate in this battle. And then 2nd Corps, you can see here, I have three divisions. I will really only use two in Gaines Mill, at least I think that's how I'll do it. But you can see here... I haven't really touched these troops other than the artillery that I increased them to 12 guns apiece. And we've got the 10-pounder ordinances and the 12-pounder Napoleons. Um, you'll also notice that uh, over here Tuttle has 12 guns. He has the 10-pounder ordinances that Scales used to have. Scales... Scales is pretty juicy. Scales has these 24-pounder howitzers and these things are beasts um but scales is already two star i don't really want to utilize him in any missions my goal is to get tuttle and maybe miller and stark see how close we can get them to two star trimble and mckinley they're also two star um i did spend seven reputation to buy i think it was like 1750 uh harper's ferry rifles yeah the harper's ferry uh m 1855 and i put those on trimble and mchenry so i bought another 50 on top of that to fill them out um these guys, I won't be using these in any of my small battles uh, going up to Gaines Mill, I think. I just want as many one and two star troops as possible. So I did recruit five new brigades, 1300 apiece. They all just have the Springfield M1842. And I purchased a bunch of majors, or um, maybe I had some leftover majors too. But anyways, I have five raw brigades here with five majors, and the goal is to both level up the commanders and the brigades themselves. Hopefully they can hit one star. And then these one star brigades, their goal is to hit two star. Tuttle, as I said, hit two star. And then Loomis and Schaefer, they have Springfield 1855s. All of second division has Lorenzes. So my goal is to have raw recruits that I'm, I'm leveling up with the 1842s, recruits that are close to 2-star with the Lorenzes, and then Schaefer and Loomis, they will be 2-star. And the 1855s, I'd like to put on 2-stars along with um, Harper's Ferry 1855s. These units in the second core they will sort of rotate in and out to level up. So let's say like Evans and maybe not Heat, but definitely Price and maybe Gross. Let's say they hit two star in this mission. I won't use them in the rest of the missions. They'll be cycled out until Gaines Mill. And the idea is I will have as many two stars as possible going into Gaines Mill, at least that is the idea. Walton and Hansen probably won't be used in the majority of these missions coming up. Um, I'm still getting a hang of cavalry, but for the time being, I just want to level my infantry and artillery and get that going. All right, so here we are at Secure River. So let's grab First Corps in there. 
Um, Secure River, 15th of April, 1862. Our army is preparing for offensive operations in Virginia territory. You've been assigned to advance ahead and secure a river passage for reinforcements that move from the northwest. Our scouts reported that a significant rebel force under General Bragg has been deployed on a hill. We need to seize that strategic position and eliminate the rebel threat. Two ironclads will support your advance. So I'm assuming the ironclads are just, uh, you know, somewhere around this area here. Um, so this is the same map as before, right? We had to push um, across the river and take this hill. So now we are moving from this hill over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a map that the map that we played on before where we uh, swung around the town. Yeah, very, very, very similar. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully they don't have that many forces because I don't think our 12 brigades, well, maybe it is. No, 24 guns. We're only bringing 12 guns to the battle. So we shall see how this goes. All right, here we are on the battlefield. The operations in Virginia have commenced for our army. We have to land a portion of our army onto enemy soil and start securing the land for the Union. General Bragg's corps is waiting for us on the hilltop, harassing our forces. We cannot advance if we do not repel them. With the artillery support of our ironclads, it should be fairly easy to force a Confederate to force the Confederates away from the hilltops. But General, be very cautious in your advance. A direct frontal assault on the high ground can lead to heavy losses that we cannot afford. So now that I've seen the battlefield, I, I think I would like cavalry. And what's nice here is I can actually choose what units to bring. So that's that's really good. Um. Yeah, I would l I would actually like cavalry on this map because it can really swing round, I think. Um let's think here. So if I put um the new guys up front. Oh gosh, this will be this will be bloody. And then put an elite unit, two, two good units, an elite unit. They can swing around that flank. And then, uh, you could be support in the middle. And then, if I put Price and Schaefer, and then if I Get rid of get rid of you and then bring shock cav. Yeah, shock cav. Then quicksilver in the middle. There's not much cover over here. What if you went into the trees somewhere up there force okay i think think that is the plan here so i i would like skirmishers to move up forward just to cover us. Um, I would like you to drop skirmishers and then have you move across. Okay, so there's some infantry across the way. And... Uh... Sure. You can do it that way. Okay. And then just have your skirmishers move up. Tuttle, move there. Force there. And then Rose, Evans, Lawton. 
Okay, something like that, maybe? That's a lot of artillery. Price move up, Schaefer move up, Hansen. Okay, I do not want them. Do you think that they will charge down at me? Wonder if they can. Hey, no, no, no. What are you doing? Shoot. Schaefer. Move up. Do you want skirmishers? I don't. It's a little, uh, a little sketchy what's going on over there. Ah, uh, man, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay. Can we... Um... Let me move up like so. Maybe grab you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Make sure you guys stay out of melee. That's. This is. I feel like the skirmishing is nowhere near as good as it used to be. What are you guys doing? Come on. Oh, and there's skirmishers over there. Crisis skirmishers just, uh. Hanson just took hits. What is going on? This is just constant charging? This is so weird. So the enemy is just going to charge as soon as it sees any kind of hole, which is really frustrating. Alright, so we just lost a crap ton of skirmishers over there. Hansen has not worked out how I wanted Hansen to work. Um, let's just pull you guys back. This is not what I had in mind here. Pull back, and then I need you guys to pull over. shoot them. Why do you have to get so close? Okay. Let's continue doing that. And losing those skirmishers is rough. Um, reattach. And you guys need to reattach. And move back up the middle. Quicksilver, I need you over here. I saw skirmishers over there. Um, this is really unfortunate. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Break their center. Evans, I need you to move forward. Loomis, move forward. That's really good. Let's have Quicksilver reinforce over here. Alright, push, push, push. Push the initiative. Tuttle, move up. You guys to move on over like so. Keep hearing the noises of charging men, but I don't see it. Okay, let's just keep these elites over here. That's a lot of grape shot or canister. But I think, I think we have this flank. Really hope we can push through there. Really need Harris to move up into the center. 
Miller, your skirmishers are doing fine. Um, oh boy, that is... I think, uh... I think these... Oh gosh, why do they swap like that? Jenkins, he was so problematic for me in the Battle of Shiloh. Okay, Miller's skirmishers just pull back now. General Quicksilver, hold the line. Tuttle, you are doing great. Just, uh, just keep pushing forward. Keep, keep them on their toes. Just need everybody to keep pouring on the fire. I want you to reattach. Jenkins is doing something janky. Tuttle, I think you are doing a fine job. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, come on. Just move forward. Okay. Good. I don't know where on earth Jenkins went off to. But I don't really... Okay, I see some horses over there. What are you doing, Gross? Come on, guys. Let's, uh... Let's get something a little bit more organized going on. Don't know why you guys are firing at an angle like that. Let's move you guys up, you over here. You guys really did some weird maneuvering. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Ah, uh, gosh. Okay, Hanson, just go in. That's a huge loss if they can do some major damage. Okay, halt, 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 reform. Schaefer, I said halt. Price, I don't know what you're doing either. I don't really like Evans where where he's at, but how it's going to be. I think this is a, a good turn. Jenkins doesn't know what he's doing. Quicksilver, I need you more in the center. Force, I don't know what I'm doing with you. You just need to continue providing ammo to all the troops. And continue moving you all forward. Can we shoot Bragg? Can you move forward? Alright. You two... I need you two... Why do you have to swap? I will complain about that until... It has changed, but you'll never be changed because the game's, like, done. There we go. That's the mistake I like to see from the Confederates. Completely routing one of their units. Alright, just need to keep the momentum going. 
Oh, that is... That is bad, actually. Alright, you all need to... take out that artillery. Tuttle, move up. Quicksilver, I think if you move up over here, that would be great. There we go. Pour it on, boys. Pour it on. Get into range of that artillery. Oh, boy. That great shot. Keep moving forward. And then you two can go over here. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. You three can move forward like so. Union has secured one of the hills. And General Quicksilver move up. Um, force. Just uh, do something like that. All right, here they come, boys. Here they come. Nope, 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 nope. I just want to grab all of you. No, 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 Lawton, what are you doing? Lawton, just get out of there. Tuttle, continue moving forward. Um, Price, you have taken way, way too many casualties for um, the unit I want you to be. Miller, what are you doing? What on earth are you doing, Miller? Alright, keep, keep pushing. Need you guys to keep pushing Lawton. Just move over there. Quicksilver, you are in the thick of it. Price, I need you to not really be that involved anymore. Alright, Naggle, fall back. Schaefer, um, I think Schaefer, Schaefer and Price just need to cover this side, you can finish your mission or fight and continue. I wonder what all we can gain. What do they have over there? Is the question. Oh, well, I didn't get a choice to fight on. Alright, so. Casualties, 2,344 on our part, 5,794 on their part, lost zero guns, they lost 19 goals, lots of good there. One of their units did a pretty good job, otherwise we did great. Wounded Custer, that's a divisional commander, and he was just demoted to division. Three good promotions, really like to see that, and then... Two of our newbies promoted to lieutenant colonel, so that's great. Uh, goods captured some Springfields. Um, I don't know. We probably lost way more than uh, than we should have there. But all right, that was a nice. Well, I say quick. Um, no, that was pretty quick. Union protector star. What did I earn that for? Just for that battle there? Or for landing in Virginia? So, more reputation, more career points, always good. Um, and then let's see, yeah, Custer unfortunately is wounded. General Quicksilver is doing fine as far as casualties. These are mostly acceptable. Oh, Price was not an elite unit. Phew. Good. Well, I mean, he had Lorenzes, but not really elite. Oh, no. None of these became two-star? 
Oh man, I was hoping that they would become two star. 700 kills and you guys didn't become two star. That is... That is rough. Okay. Um, this might be a little bit more difficult. I was expecting multiple two-star brigades right there, but um, did not happen. So that is unfortunate. None of them gained any stars, but they're pretty close. So we will need to send in all of these troops again. Again, obviously I didn't use him, I used, um, used Anson. So on career here, I think I need to pump some into medicine. Medicine and politics are like the big ones. So let's do medicine because that is, what is it? Recruiting unit restore 6%. Otherwise, politics is income 15. I think medicine is the way to go here. Politics and medicine are like your big ones. Training, I should do more, but I just don't have the ability to right now. And logistics, what does logistics do? Oh, extra ammo. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, we will do that. So Eccles and Custer are still wounded. Lots of other guys in reserve, and I could still hire a major there. So that's good. Um, lots of Springfields in stock, so that's always good to see. Lorenz's more 1855s. These Hunter rifles I've just been selling. Cook and Brother, I don't care for, and Artillery that sell this one six pounder. Alright. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And then, earn a lot. Oh, I, I forgot to show you, in between, uh, before I started those missions, I increased my supply to the maximum, which is the 35. Oh, it makes the noise that it's spending the money, but it doesn't spend it. That's good. Uh, to the 35,000 supply. Um, just figured I might as well do that right off the bat. Let's just take a quick peek at the battles here. So, Correspondence Captured Message, 22nd of April, 1862. General, I recommend you strengthen our positions after the events of Secure River. Quicksilver's army is perfectly able to destroy us. Now that we are more vulnerable, please do not hesitate and send to our surviving army at least a few more divisions. Our men are in need of your help. Colonel Marvin Bristow. And then 24th of April, 1862, captured message. Sir, I must inform you that we're highly concerned about the advance of Quicksilver towards Richmond. My corps consisted of 13,200 trained soldiers heading to reinforce your army. We'll rendezvous with you shortly. Brigadier General Rick Gavin. Alright, so the next mission in chronological order would be Rendezvous, and the enemy is minus two and a half enemy army size, so not too shabby. Um, and then I just want to take a peek at it before the next one. So eight brigades. That is a small group reserve units have already been dispatched to join you. I wonder if that means we'll have some reinforcements. That is small. Small, small, small. 76.94. So I will have to reconfigure my forces to figure out what eight brigades I would like involved in this. I would really like some two stars. I would really like Loomis and Schaefer to hit two stars. They are the closest. Um, Schaefer took a decent chunk of casualties. Need to be more careful about my elite units. They're not really elite yet. Elite is like two star and three star. Um, man, I would really like. Uh, 
like price is close, gross is close. So what I might do is I might bring in Price, Gross, Schaefer, Loomis, and like three newbies and then Tuttle. Or maybe I'll bring in like Price, Loomis, all five newbies, newbies and Tuttle. That'll give us seven infantry and artillery. Probably what I will do. But um, that's enough thinking about the future. Let's uh, end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you made it this far. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. It really helps out the channel, especially with how small of a YouTuber I am. And I shall see you for the rendezvous. So as always, guys, until next time.